we've been up to. It doesn't look like we've been up to a lot, but we've done a lot of little bits and bobs. Like I say, from the last video, I can't remember what that was, done a lot of bits. Engine bay wise, um, we've got some little P clips, I'll show you in a minute. Um, just tidying bits up, piping in here. We've got some fan in. Um, I changed the fan wiring loom. Um, I haven't changed the switch because this is the 16, uh, well, the newer two speed fans, which are 30 quid, I think it was, something like that. Now, to get the single speed 16 hour fan is 20 quid more and it's pointless. Um, and this had more fins on it. Um, better for cooling. So, I've um, got a, the later fan wiring loom from Dubstock. Um, I've left the original um, radiator fan switch it sits in the bottom down in, in there. So, we've only got one speed, but that's fine. Um, when it comes to the point of changing the coolant or whatever reason I need to, then I can change the switch then. Piping's on. Um, yeah, we're running that beautifully. I have got a bit of a blow from the manifold, which is annoying. Um, if you know me, you ab I absolutely hate blowing exhausts. It just, that wet fart sound is drives me nuts. Um, so that's going to have to come off, which is a bit of a pain, but we'll probably get all our MOT on the road first. And then I've already got a plan in place, which will become apparent later down the line. What we'll do with that. Um, what else have we been doing? Tidied up all the battery wiring looms, so the battery's all bolted in, nice and solid. Um, so we're happy with that. Fuel metering head, um, that's the second hour that's changed, but it's working. So I've just run some paint over it, tidied it up until such times we get one rebuilt. That's pretty much all in the engine bay. No, it's not. Um, I've cleaned up the um, air box clips, little bits and bobs. So I'll, get you, I'll show you them now, so it's a bit easier. Right, so engine bay, we're looking lovely and original. Injector lines are all nice and straight. Um, going through millions of pictures I've got, trying to get those clips right, but that's as tight as it's going to get. Again, these P clips, they should have sort of the plastic um, elephant ear type clips and them kind of things, but they just look a bit tatty and they don't hold the pipe straight, obviously because they twist. So I've got these nice stainless steel P clips. They hold the pipe nice and tight there, not too tight that obviously when it gets hot, it expands. So that's all in there. As the battery is bolted in, clean the clamp up, a nice uh, Allen head in there. I have put a bit of silicon hose underneath that clamp, so when you do the clamp tight, it's not scratching the paint straight away. It's it's putting pressure on the battery because all that clamp does goes tight on there, but its force is pushing the battery that way to wedge in the line down there, and then the clip of that just sits on the like, the edge of the battery. So Bit of old silicon hose, just cut it in half, slightly widen the shape of that so when that bolts down, it doesn't scratch the paint, but it holds an all tight tight. I say it's not not going anywhere. Battery wiring's been tidied up a bit more, just a bit smarter. Uh, power steering leak we finished. Uh, it was the main. You've got the power uh, steering outlet, the pressure hose, like a sixty mil nut, and below that you've got a twenty seven mil nut, which is like the main union on the pump. That was slightly loose, so I had to, um, as it's tight for space, run we'll out all the headlight off, um, cut a spanner in half, another special tool to the collection, um, got it on there, got that nice and tight, cleaned it all off, had it running up a while ago when I got the car out and took the good pictures, that stopped leaking. Um, yeah, headlights all back on, the wiring's all been taped up and tidied for that. Fuel meter and head, lick of paint in it, just looks a lot better than the rusty mess it was. Um, these clips as well. Good stuff for that I've got is, I'll show you. Now I had this left over from when I'd done the under underbody of the car. So what we've got is that POR15 metal prep, rust and moving pre-primer. Pre -primer. Now you can reuse this to the point it's disgusting and dirty and obviously a bin it. But all I do is put that in a little jug, um, leave stuff like those clips in it, leave it there for a day or so and you'll see it start frothing up and stuff. Um, get them out, clean it up, and then they're ready for paint. Um, again, you'll remember in one of the videos, this pipe doesn't sit right on the cars, which is very annoying. Um, so all I've done, I've cut about 5 mil off the end of that pipe, so that sits further up. I have clipped these as well. They do have clips on from the factory, but that's the ones I'm going with. I've also put a little black cable tie around there, just to hold that tight, because it just doesn't want to sit straight. Uh, but obviously it's black, it blends in. Um, and... Uh, sits a lot nicer we've also done 
clip, clip, and clip, and the big one on the bottom of the air trumpet. So they're all new stainless steel clips. It's only pennies, it's not big money, but it's just nice and nice and tidy. So engine bay wise, we're sort of at the point, nearly done, bar stickers and a few bits. I need to take tape up the coil wires, redone that. Um, a few of the bits of trim, like I need a heat shield at the back, scuttle pay, scuttle panel tray in that lot. Um, then nice lots of stickers over it. Um, again, we need to get tyres for it, get the wheels done. I'm reluctant to keep running it up because I don't want the engine idling um, until it's actually got out on the road and give it a good run up because idling's just going to end up glazing the rings up and then causing us problems. All I have got, I don't know if you've seen the pictures, is some audio. So we'll dive inside and have a look at the audio. What we have got in here, excuse the poor lighting, is a nice, I can't pronounce the names, um, that make uh, London SQM, SQM 37. Now, the original is you're going to get, um, and for £6.50 that cost me off eBay, poster to the door, perfect. I'm not too fussed about music on this, I want to hear the engine and the exhaust. I'll sort audio later on down the line, but I you know it turns on works. One thing I have done, um, the Mark II Golf wiring doesn't really have a switch live. You've got your earth, your power, um, a yellow and white, which I think speedo or speed activation, and then a, a grey and blue, I can't what it's for. So earth one goes on there, the power wire, all I've done is cut the end of it off, heat shrunk it all up, it's all tidy, and then when I'm saying a switched live means... This has got this is a fan switch, turns the fans on. You've got a live 12 volt feed all the time, and you've got another wire on there which only comes live when you turn the ignition on. Because ideally, you don't want a stereo with power all the time, not an old car, so you risk a fire, blah blah blah. It's a 30 year old stereo. So, what we've got is a switch live wired in from there, spliced into it, into the back of there. So, literally, it does nothing now, there's no power to it, and then turn the ignition on. Still no power, pop it on, and there we are. Obviously no, no speakers or anything at the moment, but it's in there, it's powered up. Um, I'm happy how that's sitting at the moment. So then, let it down line, um, I'll get that fully fixed in once I'm happy with the wire at the back. And I'll probably run some wires down that side and down the other side for the speakers in the stereo. So then I can fix that properly, and then when I wire the step speakers in, uh, the wires are already there for it. We've also switched a couple of switches around, um, these two mainly, from the brochure. See, now this is the German one, so it's it's not exactly as it's going to be, but pretty much the fog lights close to the radio, so we're going with that. Um, some of the UK ones are a bit, um, one of the guys mentioned it is a bit funny, because they've obviously chopped the pictures, because the, the rear demister image is the wrong way around on one of the brochures, but switches are in there. Um, now we need to go to the back of the car and have a look at what we've done there. So the back of the car is looking more original, and I'll tell you for why, is the wiper. Now mine was laying flat. It's a modification you can do, which, which means moving an arm around the wiper arm, laying different ways so the wiper goes flat and the wiper does that way. From the factory, they were like that. A couple of reasons why, whether they're true or not, is airflow. You've got the airflow over there, aerodynamics. If you've got a wiper there, it hits it. Who knows, but... That's where off from the wipe uh, from the factory. Mine possibly needs to move that way a little bit more, but that's as far as it will go. So when it comes around that way, the wiper blade is not actually touching the rubber. Um, so I could have the wrong length on there, but factories you're going to get, and then boot switch. So now I've got a boot lock. Yeah, so we got that's all cleaned up on there. Where's the wiper arm? So the wiper arm, that's how it is there, and if you want it to lay flat under that 10 mil nut, put the wiper where you want it, and that arm's just going to face the other way. So yeah, just switching those around. Um, boots in there, we've got the spare wheel in there which is nice and painted up, still got a few bits to tidy up. Um, but yeah, boot lock, I went for just a remold one, and remold as in, not a genuine one, because the genuine ones obviously come with genuine keys. So we've got obviously a genuine key, Nice genuine, we've got the VW keys and then you've got the remold. I say remold, I mean pattern parts. Cheapy keys. Now, years ago when I had my first golf, these were like dog toffee, they just fall apart. Um, that's why ideally I'd like genuine parts, but genuine parts 
are very hard to get with a, with a key. And the amount of times I'm actually going to use that lock and opening the boot are very sort of slim to none. And that was £11, so happy with that. It's all in, does the job, opens the boot, closes the boot, does its job. So yeah, that's done, that's done. And let's move on to the next bit. So the last little bit I've been doing is a bit of cleaning really. Um, as you can see, the car does attract a bit of dust. Now the floor is painting not as much, but these paint brushes, little paint brushes are quite soft. These are perfect for cleaning little areas, especially around the engine bay, like where all these bits are quite easy to flop down. All the little gaps gets in there, especially in when you to clean your letters up. Little brush down there. They're quite soft, so they're not scratching anything. Again, it's dusty down there. Good little clean up things. So that's all we're doing is going to a bit of a clean up. And the next stage is going to be tyres really. Set of tyres, 150 quid for the door. I can get those fitted and then I can paint the wheels up. Um, I'm going to fit the, paint the wheels and with the tyres on. Because it's the easiest way to do it. Um, I'm not worried, I'm not getting the wheels powder coated because you, with the powder coating on the wheels, especially steel wheels, you have an issue with this gap. So you get it all powder coated, all lovely and dovely. Doesn't matter where, how you powder coat or whatever, you will never get in that gap to stop it corroding. So I'm not going to pay out a couple hundred quid to get the wheels done, then in, I don't know, years' time, I'm going to have rust come out there. So they're just going to get a good clean up, get a bit of scotch bot on there, rub them all down. Um, get those weights off the front because they look disgusting. I want the weights on the back. Um, once it's all done, painted, um, and clear coated, I will then get some clear silicon and seal around there so nothing get in there. But also prior to primer or anything, that bottle of tub I showed you in the garage, um, the um, metal prep, I will just pour some of that around there. Not a lot, just there, and get in there with a sharp pointy pen or something in there just to get as much you know, corrosion out there as you can and then once it's all painted, primered um, thin bit of silicon around there you won't notice it just keep the corrosion at bay and it'll be nice and tidy so once the wheels are done the tyres are on we're then looking at um, electric window motors and a wing mirror I keep forgetting to buy that um, yeah electric window motors now I was going to get used ones but yeah it's, it's cheaper to get brand new reproduction parts so I'll probably get some of those. So once the tyres are on and the windows in, it's pretty much MOT time, which is going to be awesome stuff. And get it on the road, get some miles on it. Um, there's loads more need to do into it, like pass the shaft bits in the boot, all that sort of stuff. A few more trim bits in there. Um, the decals that need to go under these trims, which um, go on eBay makes Cope. Cope GTI has got a black um, 85 GTI, I think. Need to get those for it. And then onto the exhaust blowing, which will be sorted at a later date. But... That's what I've been up to. Not a massive amount, but we're getting there. Um, little, little detail. The devil's in the detail, as they say. So little tiny bits. The car's looking fantastic. I had it in the sun the other day. I could have stood there looking at it for ages because it looks damn good. So anyway, I'll let you get on and I'll on to the next bit. Cheers for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. You know, click the video, like it, subscribe it, send it to your mates, do whatever you want to do. You know, I appreciate all the subscribers we've got. And nearly 600 now. It's crazy. Um, I say lots more we're doing. We've got to finish this. Then we've got road testing, rolling roads on it. Who knows what we've got to do. We've got the other videos of um, our 1800cc bottom end overboard and then our um, turbo video. So we've got loads of stuff going on. So have a look at the videos. Check it out. See ya.